So Discord released some new news that might tear your heart apart, or it might make you extremely happy just like me. Basically, starting January 10th, 2023, Discord will be checking the activity for all existing active developer badge holders. Now, what this means is that if you haven't run a slash command on your own bot in the last 30 days, you will lose your active developer badge. Now, this is great for me because I like having a nice and clean profile, but if you're someone that likes showing off your badges, then this is kind of a little bit of a headache. So I'm going to use this opportunity to show you the best method that I found of getting this badge. Now, just for a roadmap of this video, I'm going to go over the pro gamer coding method first, where we actually download Python, and this is a great way to get you started into the hardcore bot coding. But if you're on your mobile device or you're lazy, we will be going to Bot Ghost, where I'll show you how to run that stuff. So anyways, I'm on my alt account, and yes, I am on the Beluga server and the Snoop Dogg server, so you know I'm extremely cool. But anyways, what you want to do, and this is for both methods on mobile or whatever you're using, you want to create a new server. We just want to create a server and make Make sure this server is just a server that you're in, no one else. Just in case anything bad happens, you don't have to worry about anything. But skip this question for now, gabe1337 server. And when you open up the server, you want to go to your server settings. Then you want to scroll down, enable community, get started, uh, just check all these boxes, next. Create one for me, create one for me, next. Scroll down, I agree and understand, and finish setup. And kaboom! You're now a community server. Then another thing that we have to do is we have to go to our user settings and we just need to go to privacy and safety and scroll down and make sure that how we use your data, use data to improve Discord is enabled. If you have this disabled, you might not get the badge. It was a bug before and it probably still is a bug now. So just make sure that this is enabled. Then once you do that, we can go to the first link in the description, which will be the Discord developer portal. And what we want to do is we want to create a new application and I'm going to call it free badge bot LMFAO. My team, you might not see this, but make sure it's personal, click create, and create. Kaboom, you now have a bot. That was a lie, I'm deceiving you. We actually need to click on the bot tab here, then we need to click add bot, yes do it, and it will create a bot, and I'm just gonna leave the username as it is, but we need to click on reset token and click yes do it. Now you might need to add in a two-factor authentication code, this would be on Google Authenticator or whatever you have, and once you enter in your two-factor authentication code, you should get this token. Now please do not share this token with anyone, because it allows them to use your bot. So if someone had access to your bot, they could send mean messages and all this stuff. So keep this a secret, please. But what you want to do is you want to click on copy. And this is where the similarities between the methods stop. So for this chapter, I'll have the YouTube chapters thing. I'm going to look at a method that requires you installing Python on a computer. So if you don't really want to actually code a Discord bot and use Python, then you want to skip to the next chapter. I'm going to call it like a mobile or lazy method. So anyways, let's get started with the pro gamer code. So what we need to do is we need to go to the second link in the description. When you get to the GitHub page, there's one really important thing I want you to do. Make sure it's by Alex Flipnote. If it's not the link that I have in the description and it's not by Alex Flipnote, I'm not entirely sure what the program's doing. Now, the reason why we're going to go through the kind of pro gamer method coder way is because we actually get to see what the files do. Since it's not an exe file, instead we're running it on Python, we can click on index.py, and that's actually the Python file that's running when we run the bot. And we can look through all this code and see if it's all good. And honestly, this is a great way to learn coding. It's just looking at other people's code. But if you don't know what the code does, I have already gone through it myself. It is safe and you're completely good to continue on with what I'm going to show you for the tutorial. We want to click on code and download zip and it will download the zip file of this badge bot that we're going to run. Now what we want to do is we want to open up the zip file and what we want to do is we just want to drag it into our downloads. So copy to downloads. And if you go to downloads, you should see give me badge dash master.zip and we have a normal folder. We want to open up that normal folder and we should see these files. Now before we do anything we need to go back to this github page and we just need to scroll down and look at this little python link. We're going to click on it. I middle mouse clicked it so it opened in a new tab and we are going to download python. So just click download python, open up this exe installer. All right for some reason I decided not to show you how to install python but now I'm going to show you basically what we want to do is we want to click add python.exe to path then click install now. It'll prompt user account control like a little administrator pop-up just click on yes and let it download and once that bad boy's done then you just click on close and that's it sweetheart all done but anyways once you download python what we want to do is we want to go back to our little downloads folder and i'm going to maximize this next up what we need to do is we need to open command prompt in this folder and the easiest way to do it is just right click in the folder just in any empty space and click open in terminal however if you're on windows 10 it'll look something like this you should still see open in terminal and just open it up 
And once you open up the command prompt, you should see C, users, your username, downloads, give me badge dash master. And what we want to do is we want to type in pip install dash r and then just type in rec and press tab and it should autofill requirements.txt and press enter. Now it should automatically go through and download these requirement packages. However, if it doesn't, because I've actually had this happen before, is you might need to actually open up the Microsoft store and just type in Python, press enter, and just look for a Python 3.11. And when you see that, you just need to download it. You only need to do that if this pip install command doesn't work because sometimes it doesn't and Windows is weird. I don't know. But this is kind of where coding gets fun is just solving problems. But anyways, what we want to do next is we want to type in Python space index and just press tab to auto complete and press enter. Now it's going to tell you, hey, welcome to the active developer badge bot. Please enter your bot's token below to continue. Don't close this application after entering the token. So what we want to do is we want to paste in our token from before. So if you don't know already, I'm going to quickly go back to the little page. This was in the pregame section. Remember this token? We need to copy it. Then we just need to right click in command prompt and it will paste in the bot's token. And we just need to press enter. Now, once everything is all good, you should see this, use this URL to invite free badge bot LMFAO to your server. What you want to do is press and hold the control key, then click on the link just as normal, and it will actually open up the link in your Chrome. So I just flicked back to it. And an external application wants to access your Discord account. Just add it to the server that you made. It was Gabe1337 server. Boom. Authorize. I am a human and done. We now have a Discord bot on our server. And to prove that, I'm going to go back to Discord and you should see that we now have this free badge bot LMFAO. Now what we need to do is we just need to do slash hello and press enter. Now when you run the slash hello command, it's going to say a whole bunch of stuff, but basically you just need to wait 24 hours. Then you can click on this link. And when you click on this link, you can actually claim your badge. And to do it is very simple. Just select the bot that you made, select your support server. So Gabe 1337s and the channel to subscribe to just click whatever and click on claim. Now I'm not going to do it yet because I have to record this for the mobile people, but that's how you redeem the badge. Very easy. Now, if you run a slash command and it says, oh, it didn't respond or whatever, that's because you closed the command prompt. You have to leave the command prompt open, that application, the black window thing. You need to leave it open while you're running the bot slash commands. Once you run the slash command, then you can close command prompt. Now, the unfortunate thing is that you need to run this bot every 30 days. Run the bot, run the slash command. It's kind of a pain in the rear end, but just set a calendar event for 30 days in the future or 29 if you want to be safe. Then all you need to do is just open up command prompt, run python index.py like we did before, then put in your bot's token, then do slash hello. And once you finish slash hello, you can close command prompt and you're all good to go and just rinse and repeat, baby. So if you skip to this part, this probably means that you either have a mobile phone or you just couldn't be bought to go through that steps of installing Python and all that stuff. And that's completely fine because we're going to be using BotGhost. Now, I did crap on BotGhost because their support team, I'm not a huge fan of if I'm going to be honest. However, BotGhost as a product for what we're using it for in terms of getting the badge is pretty okay. So what we want to do is we want to go to the, I think it's going to be the third link of the description. It's going to be under the, the mobile slash lazy method in terms of the links, but just you need to open up that website, click on create a bot, and it's going to tell you, oh, it wants to do all this crap and join servers for you. Why do you guys have to have that permission? Then what we want to do is just authorize it. And once you click authorize, you'll be taken to this page and we just need to enter in our bots token. So remember very far back, if you've skipped through the video to get to this part, I looked at our bot token. All you need to do is just copy this token. Then you want to paste in this token and click create bot. Now, once you do that, just click on active developer badge and make sure it's enabled. And from there, we just need to go to the left and click on invite because this is how we're going to invite our bot to our server. So click add to server, add it to your Gabe1337 server, whatever you name it, click continue. And now it's going to ask for administrator, which I, I'm not a huge fan of this at all, to be completely honest. And that's why we made a new server for this bot. So in case anything goes wrong, it only destroys that server. And that's in the worst case scenario. I really doubt bot ghost is going to do anything with your bot token. It's not how they operate. But regardless, just make sure this is in a server all by itself. You don't have to worry about it. Then click authorize, click I am human and kaboom, baby. Guess what? If I go back to Discord, we now 
have the bot ghost badge bot. All we need to do is press the slash command and you should see active dev badge. We just need to do slash active dev badge, press enter and kaboom. We ran the slash command and now we just need to wait 24 hours. And once we wait 24 hours, we need to go to the fourth link in the description or this link right here, open it up and it's gonna give you this little form here. We need to select our active application, which is the free badge bot. Then we need to select our support server, which was Gabe1337 server. Then just select any channel and guess what? Click on claim. And guess what? I now have the active developer badge. Oh my goodness. I click on my profile. I'm active developer now. Damn, that's crazy. Now, here's the thing. You will have to run this command every 30 days after January 10th, 2023. So that means you need to set a little timer and, you know, make sure you send this slash command every 30 days. Alrighty, so this is the end of the tutorial part of the video. I just wanted to make a couple things clear because I know people in the comments are going to be upset with this video. But I made this video because regardless, there are going to be people that search on YouTube why their badge is gone. I'd rather them have my video with methods that are completely safe instead of some sort of scary skid thing where it's malware and viruses everywhere. So hopefully this is the final thing I have to make on the active developer badge. Where I swear to God, Discord, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna come over and send 30 emails to your Discord trust in safety. I'm getting angry about a badge. Anyways, bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.